It's convention for luxury travel brands, our client included, to talk about what they have. But we discovered that a greater story exists in who they are. Their people, their sincerity, spontaneity, and heart set them apart. This was a positioning they could own. It was also a powerful truth, motivating to their core target of upmarket business travelers, who far from living like kings in luxurious hotels, encounter the gloom and alienation of always arriving alone and leaving alone. But how would they keep the brand's inner soul alive in the hearts of 66,000 individuals? The staff, the face of the brand across 70 hotels and resorts in 20 countries and more as they expanded across the world. And how could they tell an intangible story of heartfelt hospitality to a jaded and cynical audience? The Shangri-La idea had no formula, no production line, no standard procedure. And in today's world, if the brand promise isn't delivered, the world hears about it. There was only one way. Build the brand from the inside out. Create a proposition with activities that equally touch the staff and the guest. First, the Shangri-La message was articulated in an engaging way. The message, Shangri-La treats guests not as king, but as kin, as family. Then we set the foundation of the proposition with our staff. No rule books, no do's and don'ts. We motivated them as family, not employees. We then created a campaign that touched hearts across borders and cultures, including everyone at Shangri-La. It was based on one simple truth. There is no greater act of hospitality than to embrace a stranger as one's own. The entire campaign was revealed to staff weeks before the public. We also involved them in launch events and activities across every Shangri-La hotel. They felt it understood the message and were inspired. It gives us the motivation to go further on a, go on an extra mile. And whenever the guests come to us seeking for help, we can actually assist them more than what we usually do. I think with the ad, it's relevant and it relates to my role as F&B marketing manager, for example, because it really um, is about taking that extra step going that extra mile again for our guests. I think it's given me a, a new beginning itself to, to show and share with our guests what warm hospitality is all about. After the launch, we kept going. To keep the spirit alive, we asked what they did to make guests feel special. I think that it is in our nature to always want the best for somebody else. It is in our nature to be humble, uh, selflessness and good in heart. It's in our nature to give our guests memories that will last a lifetime. Answers were evolved into post-launch ads. This is set to continue. Once the brand was accepted and embraced internally, we were ready to take it to the audience. The numbers summed it up. After the campaign, an increase to the 84% of the staff felt connected to the brand. 82% felt they were more involved. This correlated with guest satisfaction, which rose to 92%. Following the first burst of activities, Shangri-La recorded the highest revenue increase amongst key competitors. Key markets of China and US showed double-digit growth. Facebook friends increased from 1,500 to over 100,000, making it the biggest hotel brand on Facebook. And most importantly, we achieved our business objective by over fourfold. Numbers aside, the emotional response couldn't have been better. Social media became friend, not foe. All this from building the brand from the inside out.